thought he had me, then I scream, scream. Double thought he had me, then I scream, scream. Yeah, yo, hey, hey. Ain't no weapons on against me, gonna prosper. Ain't no weapons. Plenty of angels round me, packing like some mobster. Says he can't do that. A woman has to wear a dress and look right. You can't show your body up to. So you see them young sisters walking in tights and half naked, breast are out. You can see vagina. You can see bums. God says no, that's for them. And we can't do that. Boyfriend and girlfriend, you have a boyfriend? God says he can't have a boyfriend. You know that? God says he got him married. Get me Hebrews 13 and 4 and get me also um, Sirach 7 and 25, all right? Hebrews 13 and 4. Listen to what God says, sister, all right? Because if that man loves you, hold on. You're 16. So he shouldn't be having a boyfriend. All right? He shouldn't be having a boyfriend. Hebrews 13. You, you, you got to grow and learn how to be a wife so later when you get a man a righteous man you can be a righteous woman that's a righteous right wife you understand but the bible don't teach girlfriend the world does because when you lay with a man and have sex with him with guess what hey, don't block her door yeah we can stand at the pavement okay. no we can't and then you're not breaking up you understand my sister so the Bible says when you lay with a man, that man you lay with is meant to be a husband. But when you have a boyfriend and you jump from one boyfriend and then Romeo comes next week and you like Romeo and you lay with him, that's whoredom. And then right. Felipe comes and you lay down with Felipe, that's more whoredom. You understand? God says we can't do that. We got to marry. Hebrews 13 and 4 and get me Sirach 7 and 25. Hebrews 13 verse 4. This is what God says. Marriage is honorable. God says marriage is honorable. Marriage is between a man and a woman. <laughs> marriage is not between a woman and a woman or a man and a man, right? Read. Marriage is honorable in all. In all things, come on. And the bed undefiled. And God says the bed is undefiled. You hear that, sister? Don't laugh at them. Don't let them lead you astray. Because judgment is coming to those that hate God's laws. You understand? You gotta be serious about this. That's your soul. Alright, so God says marriage is honorable in all things and the bed is undefiled. So you gotta leave that boyfriend thing alone. Don't lay down with your boyfriend. That's right. You understand? And you gotta walk right. Read. Read up from the Surah 7 and 25. Listen to this. Read. Marry thy daughter. The Bible says, marry thy daughter. Not give your daughter to um to go on a date with Romeo and, 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 and all of that whoredom. That's whoredom. God hates that. Read. And so shalt thou okay. perform the way to your matter. God says, and so shalt thou perform a way to your matter. Read it again. Marry thy daughter. Marry thy daughter. So what must you do, sister? Marry. God says you must marry. You understand me? Right, read. And so shall thou have performed a weightier matter. And so you perform a weightier matter. So we as men are supposed to give our daughters in marriage to a righteous man, not a bum. And you don't marry a man because he's cute. Just because he got a six pack and dimples. What happens later when the six pack goes? You're gonna have a, a nigga in your in your house. A man that wanna beat you up and kill you. You want a man of value, that's right. a man of purpose, a man that is hard working, a man that's gonna respect you. A man that loves you for who you are and not just to show your body. That's right. You understand? Any man that is telling you dress naked for me to love you, that man don't love you. That man is a liar. That's that right. man is a bum. You got to leave him. You understand? So this is what the Bible is teaching. Read Romans 6 and 23 again, right? So if these are the things, sister, that you got to learn, right? Read up on Romans 6 and 23. I don't want to check all right? Read. Romans 6. Verse 23. Listen to the Bible. Read. For the wages of Listen sin. Listen to the Bible. Read. Romans 6, verse 23. This is what God said. Read. For the wages of sin is death. So the payment for breaking God's laws is death. Is death. And many people break the laws and end up in a casket six months later, two weeks later. But the real death is a second death. The missiles are coming to the earth. There's a judgment coming. And the Lord don't care whether you're young. Whether you're old, God is going to kill. He's a God of war, a God of justice and judgment. Right? So you got to get your mind right. Read. For the wages of sin is death. So the payment for sin is death, read. But the gift of God is eternal life. But the gift of God is eternal life. So God promises you eternal life if you keep his commandments, if you do what is right. 
Right? You live with your parents? Yeah. Your parents go to church? See, you gotta go back home and tell your mommy, ask them, mommy, what is the Sabbath? Do you ever heard the word Sabbath before? You know what it is? Today is the Sabbath. Today is the Lord's Sabbath. The Sabbath is the seventh day. How many days are in the week? What is the first day of the week? Sunday, not Monday. Monday is the first day of the week. Oh, week. Still... But the week began on a Sunday. Sabado. Sabado is Saturday in Spanish. Sabado. Right? Attention. So, on a Saturday, you're meant to congregate and fellowship and learn the word. On a Sunday is the beginning of the work week. You're not meant to go to church on a Sunday. You understand? That, that is what the world teaches. You're meant to come on the Sabbath and fellowship. What about Christmas? You believe in Christmas? They teach you Christmas? So you got to go back home and say, Mommy, the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 10, you can't keep Christmas. You can't take a tree and put it in your house. It's, a, it's breaking the laws of God. That's idolatry. When you put a present under the tree and bow down to the tree, that's idolatry. What about Easter? You heard of that? They, they, give, they tell you about Easter. You got to go to church on an Easter Sunday and all of that. All of that is idolatry. You, you got, you, have you heard of the Passover? Pentecost. Right. When you go home, read Leviticus chapter 23. Those are God's holy days. Those are the days you must keep your system. And you got to ask your parents, how come we're not doing this? Have you ever heard about the Jews? Right. Do you know you, we are the Jews? Where's your parents from? What's your background? Nigeria. What tribe? Yoruba? Igbo? Yoruba. You are the children of Israel. You are the real Jews. Never knew that, did you? Right. You ever heard of Moses in the Bible? Abraham? Isaac? Jacob? The 12 scribes? You never hear about Judah? Benjamin? Levi? Right. Those are the sons of Jacob. That's who we descend from as a people. You heard of the slave trade? Right. The slave trade that took our people from like Africa, West Africa, took us to America and the Caribbean. God sent them to do that because we broke his laws. Did you know it's written in the Bible that we're going to ships? You don't know? Let me prove it to you. And then you go. You return to 28 and 68. Watch what God says. The slave trade is in the Bible. Young sister. Absorb the information. Go research. You live in a digital age. By the top of a book, you can go into your phone and you can learn fast. You understand? So don't just use your phone for TikTok and Facebook and Instagram. Use your phone to discover truth, to study, to make better yourself, young sister, right? Watch what God says. You turn number 28 and 68. 68. What? Everything is in the Bible. The Bible is a book you should be reading every day. Right? Learning the laws of God, learning the scriptures. Right? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 68. Listen to what God says. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with Egypt. ships. Egypt is house of bondage or captivity. We went into Egypt before, right? And we were enslaved for a time. 200 and something years. Right? But now God says he's going to send us back into captivity again with what? Ships. With what? Ships. With what? Ships. How did we get over to the Caribbean in America? Do you know? Ships. The cargo slave ship. It's prophesied in the Bible. That's how you know who we are. Because we can find ourselves in the prophecy. The Bible tells we are his people. Do you understand? Read. By the way, wherefore I spake unto thee, Come on. thou shalt see it no more again. So God says when we go in them ships, we're not going to see our homeland anymore. We're not going to know we're the people of Jerusalem. We're not going to know we're the sons and daughters of the prophets of Isaiah and Jeremiah and Ezekiel and Daniel. Read. And there you shall be sold. God says there in the land, when we get off them ships, we shall be sold. You ever watch them um, slave movies? 25, who's buying him? 25, you got a strong young man. 25, you got a Sold to Mr. John. How do you think we get these last names? Of Williams and Smith. Those are the last names of our, of our slave man. So God prophesied we will be sold to our enemies. You understand? Read. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. See that? Read. For bondmen. Bondmen means servitude, means slave. For slave men, read. And bond women. And slave women. Come on. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall buy or redeem you. Right, that means right. when we get in that captivity, the Lord says what? Nobody's going to get us out of it. Only his son is going to come again when we get ourselves together. And that is the time he's going to redeem us. You understand? So you got to go home. Read Deuteronomy 28. Read Leviticus 23. 
right? Read Jeremiah chapter 10. Ask your parents a question. When you go to church, ask your pastor a question. Can you tell me about the slave trade, pastor? I, saw, I, met, I met a guy in the street and he, he read Deuteronomy 28 and showed me that the ships are in the Bible. How come you don't tell us this? You understand? The Bible says we shouldn't eat swine flesh and clean food. Why do you not teach this? You gotta start holding it, holding them accountable, alright, young sister? Thank you very much for your time, alright? Go on. Alright? Read from it. Where were we in the scripture? Right, give me Isaiah 34. Go on. 